Take care to subscribe our channel. Do not forget to press the like icon to get regular updates of free videos. ठीक है कंटिन्यू विद दिस ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट विद इन ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट द इंपॉर्टेंट मॉडल इज सोलो मॉडल देर आर मेनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सोलो मॉडल लाइक what is the meaning of steady state golden rule steady state transition path so among various models like harrod domer model solo model or lewis model or highest order model most frequently asked question is from solo model the main idea of solo model is that first of all explain that different models are trying to explain growth and development so the growth of economy depends upon certain factors some factors are highlighted by different models so if i say that growth of economy is a function of now growth means growth of uh, gdp gdp you are plotting by symbol y so if you write simply y remember this y is nothing but gross domestic product now if i say that y is a function of if it is a function of stock of capital it is a function of labor force it is a function of technology it is a function of raw material it is a function of labor efficiency so production is a function of stock of capital stock of labor function could be expressed in this form also a function is a capital to the power alpha labor to the power 1 minus alpha so if i say gdp is a function of capital it is a function of labor it is a function of technology technology is represented by a here so if uh, you say that there is a growth in the economy of 7.2% gdp growth rate of india is 7.2% so that gdp growth must be due to growth in which factor if gdp is a function of these factors so gdp growth will depend upon growth of technology gdp growth will depend upon growth of capital stock gdp growth will depend upon growth of labor force there may be other factors but to explain in a model form we are highlighting three important factors so solo model is basically designed in such a way that it explain how interaction of technology capital stock and labor force determine growth of gdp there could be other factors but we are focusing on three factors one factor is technological change other factor is a capital stock and third factor is labor force so gdp is a function of technology it is a function of stock of capital and it is also a function of labor force so if technology will grow gdp will grow if stock of capital will grow then also gdp will grow if labor force will increase due to population then also gdp will increase so gdp growth is a function of technical growth rate it is a function of capital stock growth rate which you will simply call it capital accumulation increase in stock of capital is capital accumulation and put it simply it is nothing but investment so increase in stock of capital is nothing but investment part and increase in labor force you can relate it with uh, population growth rate so solo model is simply saying that gdp is a function of technology capital stock and labor force and therefore gdp growth rate will be a function of growth rate of technology growth rate of capital stock and growth rate of labor force so you have to start with this part now there are various steps in which solo model will be built 
all variables all factors are not variable in the first step in the first step i will consider technology constant labor force constant so if technology is constant as well as labor force is constant then gdp will change only due to capital stock so if you consider technology fixed and labor force fixed then gdp will change only because of change in capital accumulation that will be your step number 1 in step number 2 you will change labor force also so then gdp when change either due to change in capital or due to change in labor in the third step even technology will become variable so then gdp will change due to change in technology or change in capital or due to change in labor or due to change in all factors together so we have to explain this model after that what is the concept of steady state what is long run equilibrium of the economy what is golden rule steady state what is transition path within the steady state so first paragraph is giving you the main idea of that solo model what is the main idea so if any question related to solo model you can begin with that paragraph and that paragraph basically gives you the main idea behind the solo model so what is the main idea behind the solo model solo model is designed to explain what solo model is designed to explain how technology capital stock and labor force interact and how their interaction determine gdp so solo model is basically designed to explain how technology capital stock and labor force interact and how their interaction determine economy's gdp and the growth rate of that gdp so write down that first paragraph solo model is designed to show solo model is designed to show how growth in capital stock solo model is designed to show how growth in capital stock comma growth in labor force growth in labor force and uh, advances in technology and advances in technology interact in an economy interact in an economy and how they affect and how they affect total output of and how they affect total output of goods and service total output of goods and service of an economy of an economy <coughs> full stop it is based on it is based on law of diminishing return it is based on law of diminishing return based on law of diminishing return to individual factor of production law of diminishing return to individual factor of production law of diminishing return to individual factor of production underline that law of diminishing return solo model is based upon diminishing return and what does that mean law of diminishing return to individual factor means that keeping technology and labor constant if you increase only capital then output will increase at decreasing rate similarly if you keep technology and capital constant and increase only labor then also output will increase at decreasing rate so solo model is based upon law of diminishing return next paragraph capital and labor work together capital and labor work together 
to produce output capital and labor work together to produce output if there is abundant capital if there is abundant capital then marginal productivity of capital will be less if there is abundant capital then marginal productivity of capital will be less if there is abundant capital then marginal productivity of capital will be less similarly if there is abundant labor if there is abundant labor then marginal productivity of labor will be less if there is abundant labor then marginal productivity of labor will be less marginal productivity of labor will be less it basically imply that the factor which is abundant will have a lower marginal productivity abundant in the sense if you keep labor and technology constant and increase only capital then capital will become abundant so if capital is abundant then marginal productivity of capital will be lower if labor is abundant then marginal productivity of labor will be less so the factor which is abundant will have lower marginal productivity continue with in comparison to that relative term here if you keep labor constant and increase only capital then capital will become abundant if you keep capital constant and increase only labor then labor will become abundant relative to the other factor of production this implies that this implies that in solo model this implies that in solo model capital output ratio is capital output ratio capital output ratio is endogenous capital output ratio is endogenous capital output ratio symbolically theta se denote kiya usko capital output ratio is endogenous underline that capital output ratio is endogenous it means that it means that value of theta that is capital output ratio it means that the value of theta depends on value of theta depends on relative endowment of relative endowment of capital and labor relative endowment of capital and labor relative endowment of capital and labor just uh, when you explain this capital output ratio if uh, i plot here capital and here output as a function of capital keeping labor constant ho gaya y as a function of capital keeping labor constant now this can be interpreted as per unit output also so in order to convert or make it into per unit you can divide this output by labor so it will become output divided by labor per unit जीडीपी को आपने पॉपुलेशन से डिवाइड कर दिया तो जीडीपी पर कैपिटा हो गया वो वैसे कैपिटल को अगर मैं पॉपुलेशन से डिवाइड कर दूं तो कैपिटल पर कैपिटा हो गया सो वाई एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ के है एक्चुअल में एंड ड्यू टू डिमिनिशिंग रिटर्न ड्यू टू डिमिनिशिंग रिटर्न इट स्लोप विल कीप ऑन डिक्लाइनिंग इफ देर विल बी कॉन्सेंट रिटर्न द लाइन विल बी state if there will be increasing return slope will increase but solo model is based upon diminishing return now since solo model is based upon 
डिमिनिशिंग रिटर्न दे आर फॉर यू प्लॉट दिस नाउ रिलेट करना जाए यहाँ से इफ आई से स्टॉक ऑफ कैपिटल कैपिटल के अपॉन एल से मैंने स्मॉल के से डिनोट कर दिया दैट मीन्स इफ आई से स्मॉल के इट इज कैपिटल के अपॉन एल सपोज स्टॉक ऑफ कैपिटल इन इंडिया इन 1991 इज दिस वैल्यू then corresponding to that stock of capital there will be a specific output output ko maine y se denote kar diya aur jahan small y likha hai wo capital y upon l hai so there will be an output in the year 1991 theek hai now if you connect this point with origin what the slope of this line measures aapne is point ko origin se connect kar diya और इस लाइन का स्लोप अगर कैलकुलेट कर रहे हैं स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ओरियन देन इट विल बिकम स्लोप ऑफ इज नथिंग बट परपेंडिकुलर बाई बेस सो परपेंडिकुलर इज दिस एंड बेस इज दिस सो इट इज स्लोप ऑफ दैट लाइन इज नथिंग बट वाई बाई के हो गया वाई बाई के बट ध्यान देना वट इज कैपिटल आउटपुट रेशियो थीटा को क्या बोला है वो कैपिटल और आउटपुट का रेशियो है तो जब आप स्लोप मेजर कर रहे हैं तो वो आ जाएगा वाई बाई के सो इट कुड बी रिटर्न एज स्लोप इज नथिंग बट वन अपॉन थिएटर लिख सकते हैं इनवर्स है उसका नाउ इफ आई से स्टॉक ऑफ कैपिटल इन इंडिया इन 2018 इज दिस वैल्यू सो इन 2018 द जीडीपी ऑफ इकोनॉमी पर कैपिटल विल ऑल्सो बी हार Now, if you join this point with origin, slope क्या हो रहा है Increase हुआ, decrease हुआ. जो line आपने यहाँ draw कर रखी है, that line gets flatter. It means slope decreases. But slope is one upon theta. So, what about the value of theta? It increases. So, if slope is declining, it means the value of theta is increasing. Slope is declining. It means the value of theta is increasing. So if I say that the value of theta in 1991 is a four is to one, then the value of theta in 2018 will be what? Higher है तो more than four हो जाएगा। अब more than four अगर if I say six it is to one, what is the interpretation of this number? इस नंबर का इंटरप्रिटेशन क्या है इन 1991 यू रिक्वायर फोर कैपिटल टू प्रोड्यूस वन आउटपुट इन 90 इन 2008 यू रिक्वायर सिक्स कैपिटल टू प्रोड्यूस सेम आउटपुट बट व्हाई यू रिक्वायर मोर कैपिटल टू प्रोड्यूस सेम आउटपुट बिकॉज प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ कैपिटल हैज रिड्यूस एंड व्हाई प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ कैपिटल हैज रिड्यूस बिकॉज कैपिटल इज नाउ मोर अबंडेंट सो द फैक्टर विच विल बी अबंडेंट विल बी हैविंग लोअर प्रोडक्टिविटी so the value of theta does not remain constant as it was assumed in the harrow dummer model so harrow dummer model basically assume that the value of theta remains same in the t period as well as t plus 1 period but solo model say that the value of theta is endogenous so when you say it is endogenous it means what its value will change during the growth process so during this growth process the value of theta will change so as economy accumulate more and more of capital productivity of that capital decreases and therefore you require more capital to produce same unit of output so due to that diminishing return economy require more capital to produce same unit of output so remember in this solo model which is based upon diminishing return the value of capital output ratio is endogenous it is not exogenous so endogeneity is being considered the value of theta is not fixed here rough me a diagram look at it